A terrible way to live your life is having regrets. And the Minnesota Fighting Vikings had one of the best off seasons that I can remember as a fan. So I'm good. I I'm happy with the 2021 Vikings. They are a stacked lineup that is ready to hoist that Jerome Barty at the end of the season. But... Of course, the national media jabroni haircuts just love picking at a scab at a wound that may be non-existent. Bleacher Report writer Christopher Knox did up a list of one regret every team has this offseason. And of course, the Vikings is missing out on Justin Fields, quote unquote, which assumes that they wanted him in the first place. Whatever. Here's a write-up. Quote, the Minnesota Vikings have acted like they're close to moving on from quarterback or cousins. They used a third-round pick on Texas A&M Signal Caller Kelman and tried to make a play for Ohio State's Justin Fields. As disclosed in a video published by the Panthers, the Vikings called Carolina in an attempt to trade up from number 14 to 8 in the first round 2021 draft. Florio PFT said, per a league source, the Vikings were targeting quarterback Justin Fields. Minnesota didn't land the number 8 selection and Fields fell to the NFC North rival to the Bears at 11. Chicago traded up to get that pick from the New York Giants. That makes fa failing to land Fields doubly painful for the Vikings. Okay. Okay. Obviously, they tried to make a move for Fields. Oh, it's obvious? It's obvious, huh? The Vikings preferred quarterback process. Oh, he was preferred? Because that's obvious? Uh huh. However, they're still going to massively regret not making it happen if he develops into a franchise quarterback and leads a division foe for a decade plus. And this was the narrative after the first round where it wasn't even up for debate. It's like, oh, obviously the Vikings wanted him, so obviously they missed out, so obviously there will be regrets, huh? Ah. And he mentioned Floro, and even the local Smokies hopped on the Justin Fields train, and everyone is obviously well-sourced, but only one source matters, Rick Spielman, and he ain't talking. He ain't leaking anything, uh, or any of the Vikings' top brass, I think, is Fort Knox. So, again, why would it benefit the Vikings at all, at all, to leak out that, oh, hey, you know that guy that is a potential future franchise quarterback that went to a division rival? Yeah, we wanted him so bad, but we didn't get him. No. No, so obviously it's not coming from the Vikings camp, and we said it at the time, what's more likely is that the source is from the Bears camp, gloating that they, hey, that, 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 there, we got our quarterback at there, and the Vikings won a bad, that, 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 but they didn't get him. Obviously, I think that's what's going on. Obviously. Uh, but to rejudicate this again, how badly did the Vikings really want Fields if they wanted him at all? Like, their actions do not sync up with this narrative, like... The Vikings were trying to move heaven earth to get Justin Fields, and it didn't happen, huh? So the Bears, when they trade up from 20 to 11, they gave up a 20, a fifth, a future first, and a future fourth to go up uh, to get him at 11. And if the Vikings really wanted him, they had more draft capital moving up from 14 to 11, as well as throughout this entire draft, as well as next year. So they could easily have topped what the Bears offered. And then the Panthers trade, ironically, brought to light on a web series called Panthers Confidential. Thanks for putting our business out on Front Street. Spielman offered a very tepid, at best, first, third, and fourth to move up six spots, which is not even close. And if they really want to move up in both those cases, like if they need fields, like they need oxygen, they could have easily done it, but they didn't. So what does that tell you? That the demand wasn't necessarily there. And like we heard from our own impeccable source, it was just checking out the price, just like they did with every single other pick. And I'm sure, oh, the Vikings would have liked Trevor Lawrence. Should they have regrets about Nate not trading up to one? Blah, blah, blah. And I know, sources, 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 sources say that's Fields, but we know 100%, 1,000% it wasn't the Vikings, and that is the only source that matters in this situation. Also, given Zimmer's history, I think it easily could have been just as likely J.C. Horn or Sertain if they're trying to trade to 8 with Carolina, or potentially moving uh, to 11 for Sean Slater before he went to the Chargers at 13. But this Fields narrative is perfect for the national media, even though... There's a pretty large chance that it's not true. You have a high-profile player. They're constantly trying to make Chicago a viable market again in the NFL because the Bears have just been booty, booty, booty. And the losers get to hit the Vikings with a brick twice a year. Uh, dear, did you know that the Vikings really wanted Justin Fields bad, but he went to the Bears and they screwed up and they're the Vikings and they suck. Bah! But for the 17,000th time, if the Vikings really wanted him, they could have had Justin Fields. They had the draft capital, so their actions do not align with this narrative. Like, if they really were Jones the him, they could have launched all the thirds, all the fourths, all the fifths, and the future picks to go get him. But they didn't. They did not. And, by the way, I'm way happier with how this draft turned out. Darius saw 23 when he probably would have taken him at 14. You got Kellen Mond, your potential future franchise quarterback, and Wyatt Davis with the extra picks. Plus, I mean, Chris Sims, noted quarterback guru, a guy that I trust on quarterback issues, he had Mond ahead of Justin Fields. So, what do you want to do? Do you want Kellen Mond at 66 in the third round, or do you want Justin Fields where you have to trade up heaven and earth to go get him? Ah. 
I'll take I'll take uh, Texas A and M. Go Aggies. Woo. So we good, baby. Like I can't wait to settle this on the field, man. Because Justin Fields with a bad offensive line, it's no bueno. It's no, no bueno. Even though Andy Dalton will probably be under center to start. Mild cheddar, but uh, but your thoughts? Will the Vikings regret not getting Justin Fields if they want him in the first place? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Must put that work post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.